What kind of man are you? Look at you. What a disgrace. How can you call yourself a man? Man up. Today's big toe. Big toe and woman up. There was, in the 1970s, an agreement, and it actually started in the 50s, an agreement between men and women. Men would be the providers. They would bring the money in. Women would be the mother that stayed at home and took care of the children. That doesn't happen anymore. Yet these entitled, narcissistic, foolish women believe that men must stick to those sexual gender roles of being the provider, while they themselves laugh and mock and call us stupid for living up to the sexual gender roles when they themselves do not live up to it. This would be avoiding of the contract. So again, women, women up. How dare you come to men and demand that they man up when you have not lived up to one of any of the sexual gender roles that you are supposed to live up to. Being a mother, being a good provider for your children, being caring, lovable, loving, loyal, and devoted to your husband. What about all that stuff? Not to cheat, to be honest, to be good, and to treat him fairly and nicely. Where has all of that gone to? I want to know right now where the fuck women get off telling men to man up when these little prostitutes out there do not even bother to woman up. Explain this to me. How we have harlots today, ages 28, 32, 40, all still in nightclubs, dancing around, drinking till they can drop, just continuous, promiscuous behavior, yet they expect men to be men and to be rocks and to be solid and to be a support to them while they act like crazy, stupid, childish, immature bitches. Explain to me, women, where you get the right to shame men into sexual gender roles while you yourself do not uphold the same rules and the same laws you lay down on men. If men are the ones doing the right thing, where the fuck do you get off saying do the right thing while you yourself are doing the wrong thing? Do not tell a, a construction worker how to build a bridge while you yourself are nothing more than a prostitute. If you want men to live up to your sexual gender roles, then we want you to live up to ours. There was a contract between men and women that stated that men would be the provider and women would be the mother. Since you all betrayed us in the 70s and you decided to get your own jobs, go out and earn your own money, there is no reason in hell that we should have to live up to those fucking gender roles from the 1950s anymore. You all destroyed them in the 70s when you decided to become a sexual revolution and become free and let the lesbians take over your brains. So why should men have to live up to the sexual gender roles that females no longer live up to? Why should men have to pay child support and alimony to a slut who never appreciated him, respected him, or loved him? Why? You broke the contract. This is why you nasty, disgusting feminists decided to go up to the legal system and change the laws in divorce to make a no-fault divorce laws because you knew that your behavior would be so out of control that no man could live with you. But come that day where you'd stand in divorce court and have to be responsible for your deeds, you knew you would lose all the money. You knew you would lose custody. So what you basically did is say, being a bitch is fine, being crazy is fine, but being a responsible parent, that's bad. Congratulations, women. Do you think you really accomplished anything with that garbage? You've accomplished nothing. You've accomplished male hatred. You've accomplished men seeing you as the children you always wanted us not to see in you. As I remember correctly, females wanted equality, which meant equal to men. But if you're not going to uphold your own responsibility, your own honor code, and your own morals, why should we respect you as women? Why should we care about you as women? And why should we treat you as equals? I could talk to my fellow brothers about anything, and they will talk to me back with respect. I've never come across a harlot in my life who showed me respect back. You think you're better than me? You're not even worth a, a penny of my money. You're completely worthless to me. You're worthless to many MGTOW men. We see who you really are. As an eating machine, 
as a prostitute, as somebody who just parasites off of us and takes away all of our money. You all like to say that man came from woman, that without women we could not have children. I got news for you. Woman was created from man. You were created to be our helpers. Since you refuse to be our helpers, we do not have to obey the contract anymore. This is what is currently going on in the United States and in Australia and England, that men are no longer taking your crap. How dare you make a contract with us that stated that if we went out and provided that you would be the stay-at-home mother and then change it by going off to work and telling us to like it or leave it. We are leaving it right now. MGTOW means literally men going their own way. We are leaving the old system. And I know your cuntonomics is not set to that, that you're not dialed into that, but that's your problem. And guess what? This time men are not going to care. You were lucky once when men gave you chivalry. You spit it in our faces saying, we don't want this. Fine, we revoked it, but you only didn't want it because we had the sexual gender roles out there. Men are revoking the sexual gender roles now too. So good luck out there being parasites, using a man for his wallet. Pretty soon, alimony will be a thing of the past. Pretty soon, child support will be an end thing of the past. Because why don't you tell me how a man is responsible for your choice to not get an abortion, to have sex without a condom, to let him ejaculate inside of you. How is this all his fault? How is it his fault? How is it his fault that you don't go to the doctor after you think that you're pregnant and get the morning after pill? Why don't you do this? Why don't you take birth control? You lazy, stupid, psychopathic creature. I would like an explanation from women out there who read and look at my channel and look at read the comments and I want to see what they have to say. I challenge any woman to challenge me in a, to a debate about alimony, sexual gender roles, and child support. You can just freely comment on my channel and I'll instantly comment back to you. Let's have that debate and see who's really right. Let's see how women think that they are deserving of child support and alimony. Because alimony back then was given to the partner who sacrificed her career to become a stay-at-home mother. It was the woman who made the choice to stay at home and be a mother who got screwed by some bad man or screwed the relationship up herself. Therefore, she was entitled to some cash. But in nowadays, in 2014, where you can get your own damn job, where you can support your own damn ass, why should a man be supportive of you? Why should he have to pay for the first date? Why should he treat you good? You tell me. The channel's open for any woman out there who wants to debate me, and I'll debate you back, but I guarantee you will not win. This is War Drums Fire. See you all later. Come on, ladies. Challenge me in the comment box below. I dare you to.